In this video, I want to talk about perform effects. Perform effects are an awesome way to add movement and life to your music and machine. But as you may know, there's a limitation to using perform effects. In this video, I'll show you how to use perform effects. And as a bonus, I'll show you a way to get around that limitation at the end. Okay, so I already have this idea going and I have a couple groups laid out. There's a beat started with a few different expansion kits I recorded it in. Then I have this group with Farlight, Native Instruments Vocal Bass Granular Instrument. This is the group that contains all my vocal chops, and you can actually hear within the preset there's some panning going on naturally that goes back and forth. But I'm going to explore the perform effects and see what they sound like when I add them. With my vocal chops group in focus, I can press shift and then perform effect, and I can immediately add a perform effect to this group. Then using the first rotary knob, I can go through the different perform effects. There's a filter, flanger, reso echo, burst echo, ring modulator, stutter effect, tremolo, and there's a scratcher as well for vinyl effects. But let's go back up to the filter and see what it sounds like on our vocal chops. So immediately when I drag my finger on the performance strip, you can hear the filter engage, and then I can use the resonance to make the resonant peak even more sharp. Next, let's try the flanger. As I drag my finger across the performance strip again with this one, it's going to change the frequency percentage. I really like this effect, it's kind of cool. Next, let's try the burst echo. Dragging my finger across changes the feedback percentage. I can also explore the rate value and get different effects when I lift and place my finger back down. Next is the Rezo Echo. This perform effect changes the frequency percentage and it gives it a very metallic sound. You can explore the feedback percentage and give it a more accentuated effect. Next is the ring perform effect, and this changes the frequency in hertz when you drag your finger across. Next is probably my favorite perform effect, and that's the stutter effect. Either tapping or dragging my finger around will actually stutter my vocal chops by different lengths. Really exploring this perform effect can give you interesting rhythms. Okay, the next effect is the tremolo and it's pretty straightforward. Okay, our last perform effect is the scratcher. This effect mimics the sound produced by rotating a vinyl record on a direct drive turntable rapidly back and forth with a hand as the needle of the turntable scratches across the record's groove. Okay, so that's it for the perform effects. That's all eight of them in total. And now what I wanna do is I wanna record this perform effect into my vocal chops. So I've went back to the stutter effect and in order to record and capture the sound of my performance effect, 
I just press shift and auto and automatically engage the MK3 to record my automation. Now we can hear the performance playback on its own. Okay, now I want to show you how you can actually resample this and overcome the limitation I told you about earlier and use another performance effect on top of this. So the way I like to do it is I like to actually create a whole new sound and resample what I've made so that I don't have to worry about routing and sending it to another send effect on a group. I can actually bounce out my sound and then apply another perform effect on top of my sound. So I'll press F to create a brand new group. Then I'll press settings where I can go to the input option where I change the source to internal. And then the last thing I need to change is the input to my group E1 where I have far light, my vocal chops, and now I can record in and resample the vocal chops with the stutter effect on it. Also, one more additional thing, I go back to page one and change the length to four bars so I can record the entire pattern. And then I can press start and start resampling. Okay, it resampled my entire pattern with the stutter effect. And now I can go to edit and normalize my performance to bring the level up. Pressing pad one, I can hear my sample playback. I'll just go to the mixer and bring up the level some more. Okay, that sounds good right about there. Now I'm gonna go back out and then press shift and then perform effect. And I can add another performance effect on top of this sample. Now it's just really up to exploring and seeing what sounds good. Alright, here's what everything sounds like together. If you like the sounds in this beat, all the beats were made with the Pulse Work expansion. Check out the link below to explore all of Native Instruments machine expansions where you'll find a ton of production ready drum kits, samples, presets, and one shots. I really hope this video was helpful and helped you understand machine a little bit better. Feel free to leave a comment below with any follow-up questions or comments you may have. That's pretty much it for this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.